All right, so I saw another post on Tib Community uh, asking people how uh, someone could create, um, uh, basically select something uh, in Spotify, or say from a, a cross table or from a filter, and then have that automatically show up in a text field in a text area. Um, and that could also potentially be used to submit to, say, uh, a parameter in an information link or, or something like that. Um, I've, I've found that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really an R expert, but this, this video is going to be another one where I show how to use a very, very simple R script uh, to do some pretty powerful things in Spotfire. Um, you know, in fact, I would actually argue you could probably take this exact R script, because this is literally just going to be one line, uh, and reuse this over and over and over again as a technique. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a file. Um, I have a simple life expectancy demo file. I'm going to drag that into Spotfire. And all this does, it has uh, the life expectancy of different demographics of people for X number of years in, um, in the U.S. by state and by county. Uh, and the data set it itself is arbitrary. I just needed a data set that had both uh, categorical and continuous bits of data in it. All right, so we're defaulting to a bar chart, but I actually am just going to go to right-click and switch this to a cross table. And you can see it broke out automatically by state. And instead of showing the row count, I want to show the life expectancy as an average for each state. And I'll break that out by year. All right. So now I just have this cross table that I can select individual values in. And really, you know, I mean, you're still selecting a row or a set of rows that make up this particular value or the average of this particular value. Um, you still want to think of it as you've selected a given row. You're just doing it in the cross table visualization. Um, so if I wanted to then um, add in a text area that was going to filter all of this, so I was going to say, let's say add and say add in a filter by year. Let's get rid of the title bar. All right, right now my year is a range slider, and I just want to go ahead and go to my filtering scheme properties, change that to a list box, and now I just have a list uh, filter to filter to different years. So the, the, the question that was published was, OK, well, how would I um, basically have a uh, um, some sort of text up here that shows which things I'm filtered to? So in this particular case, I would register a data function, and I would say, um, returned value to selected values. The input parameter is selected values. And the types can be pretty much whatever. It's important in this case that we use string. And the output parameters is just going to be a value. All right. All right. So. It's basically an in and an out. That's all it is. If you know no R, if you know zero R in terms of a programming language, all you need to know is that you can kind of take data out based on a, uh, an expression or a column or whatever, and then you can place it someplace else like a property. And that's what, we, that's what I normally use this for. In fact, you, I, you could even go so far as to say, um, 
uh, expression as property. All right, so now I'm going to run this. And in this particular case, I'm going to say that the input is going to be an expression. The expression is going to be, I'm going to take year, but I'm going to turn year into a string. And then I'm going to do another function, uh, unique concatenate. I'm going to surround that parentheses with that. And around that, just for safe measure, I always like to also surround um, everything that I'm doing with unique concatenate with a trim, just to get, any, get rid of any other possible white spaces that I'm not accounting for. So I've got this formula here that basically is going to say, give me the unique years that are in this particular uh, column. I'm also going to limit by the active filtering that exists in this visualization. And we're going to set this to refresh automatically. And the output we're going to use a document property. We're going to say filtered years is the document property. And we're going to press OK. And close. I don't need to save this to my library, although I easily could. And then if I take a look at my data function properties, I can see that it's embedded in there, and you know I set this to run automatically. So if I were to go back and edit my text area, I'm going to insert a uh, property control, an input field, and I'm going to have that based on my document property of filter here. I'll move that here. a little bit smaller. Uh, we won't worry about the size right now. This is absolutely perfect. And now, it on the fly is changing the document property. And I can select multiple, and it's doing that unique concatenate. Now, the same uh, question was had. Okay, well, what happens if I want to do um, uh, something like this, something like where I just say, well, what if I want to click on something? So we're going to go ahead and do the exact same technique that we did a second ago. In fact, probably we'll just go to document, uh, data function properties. Edit script, just copy the exact same thing. Probably should have saved it to my library so I don't have to do this a second time from scratch. Selected values, return values. Select from cross table. Input parameters, selected values, and selected values. And they just can be pretty much anything. I'll leave string out because we're just going to be dealing with numbers this time. And the output parameters, we're just going to say is selected value uh, selected the average male life expectancy good copy that's going to be just a value and let's run it Oh, of course not. I need to, this just needs to be this. And, uh, 
this is what you do if you're doing this stuff. There we go. Okay. And now we run it. And in this particular case, we're going to go, it's going to be an expression again. But it's going to be male, average male life expectancy. So it's going to be the average of this. And this time, we're going to have it based on both the active filtering, but we're also going to filter by marking. The output, we're going to have it as another document property. We'll say average male life expectancy. We'll refresh this automatically, and we'll press OK. And so now that's running. And just for the sake of it, I'll save this to my library. And press Close. And now if I go to my Document Properties, you can see both scripts are running. They're literally the exact same script, just configured a little bit differently. And then this time, instead of a, um, uh, a property edit field here, I'm going to instead do a calculated value just to show you something a little bit different. Insert a calculated value. Do a custom expression. And we're going to do that based on gonna insert this as a value. Formatting, we'll just keep that to um, number, no more than two decimal places. And now, you can see here that anything I select, the number is showing up there. And if I select a bunch of them, then it's going to give me the average of those, that bunch. And of course, all of this is still going to be based on all of the, the other filtering that I have. All right. So I hope that was useful. Um, I think the takeaway here is that just by learning that, that little bit of R, um, let's pull it open that one last time here, uh, data function properties, edit script, just by saying take in this data as a val from, you know, say from values that are based on an expression or from a column or an entire data table and just say passing it back in as a document property or as whatever other thing you need to use that as, um, that little technique can be super, super helpful.